Hello, I'm Morris Kohansky, Wilderness Living Skills and Survival Instructor, specializing in the boreal forest. Yeah, oh yeah, we got it. What is it? Saxifrage. It's growing uh, in a really oh, hygienic place up there, oh, if you've already got it. Oh, but there's tons of it up where we just yeah. were. So this is growing on the side of a, oh, on the side of a wall. Mm. It's very pretty. Well, we're f what we're and finding is that there. all of these noises yeah. here. Ah. Oh, you found a piece of brass. I found it there. There are strange things done in the midnight sun by the men who've moiled for gold. The Arctic trails of their secret tales that it make your blood run cold. The northern lights have seen queer sights, but the queerest they ever did see was that night on the marge of Lake Labarge, a cremated Sam McGee. Hello, I'm Morse Kohansky, Wilderness Living Skills and Survival Instructor. I'd like you to welcome you to the Old Man's Garden. Here we have a foothills assemblage of wild plants that uh, would take days to study just about. Two. Take two. Hello, I'm Morse Kohansky, Wilderness Living Skills and Survival Instructor specializing in the boreal forests. I'd like to welcome you to the old man's garden. Here we have an assemblage of some very important wilderness type of or wild plants. The, the bear root, the second most important edible plant to cattail, the larkspur, the very colorful and varied Indian paintbrush. They are uh, very uh, varied, <laughs> shit. <laughs> Uh, okay, take three. Now you can also put the, uh, uh, crumble the resin from the uh, spruce trees that here's that dust. Uh huh. That also dust. Oh. Yeah. Would wax work? It might. Yeah. I got I got beeswax. and then you uh, have a loop here, mm -hmm. it goes in the notch and it's loose, 
when you put resin in there and there's a fervent like that. So you do what? In Finland, they use elbows against the side. They sort of set themselves up so they got that technique. See? Okay. Whereas there, if you're doing like this, it splits and then it goes there. Well, if you use the back of your hand and press at the back of the blade, like so, not here, but here, it's going to oh. stop when you've pressed it. In. So you press it only there, and that's as far as it can go, because this stops it from moving anymore. Here. Uh, it could, the split could continue on and, and so on. So you've got to be made aware. In, in bushcraft and in one of the handouts, it shows you in one page all the possible, 95% of all possible cuts. Because I cataloged them working with university students. I mean, when you've got 30 guys, and we're more or less 30 days for 24 years Jeez. in the month of May, and for. 15 years in the month of July, you go through a lot of people and you see a lot of stuff and you learn a lot from them. And so you see the splitting, the curves there, there it can't go any further. That's what you're tie it to a tree and the more neatly you fold it I think the more compact it can be but if you don't do it too neatly it might be a little more bulky now I'll go this way you go yeah. so <laughs> I once to, did, a, did a job with a bunch of military people at Ely and this is the best thing I ever learned from them that was the way they put away their fabric. Now when it starts to kink, take a good grip and just hold it. I'm going to stretch it. When it starts to get kinky, we take the stretch it a little bit. Yeah, you just hold it and I'll just twist it. And you memorize the length. And I keep twisting it. The harder I twist it, this can be hard enough to use as a blackjack. I do it. <laughs> right? how to knock a person out with a <laughs> piece of fabric without putting a brick in it. And probably about there. Now very often you put a stick in there. We won't bother today. Because you finish it off. <coughs> and here you're, we'll keep attention. As we keep the tension. And you learn after a while to make it so hard that it's the minimum amount of space. Have you got half a dozen uh, netting needles carved yet? Carved. <laughs> uh, can I make a net with this? <laughs> you're supposed to carve one every four minutes, so. Oh, boy. <laughs> How about one every four years? <laughs> yeah, now we wrap. Now, somebody want to learn how to net? Well, yep. we, uh, mm -hmm. we can get you started. Yeah, I'm a little, I'm a, 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 I'm a